Yeah, so the, there is an increasing body of evidence indicating that the, the effectiveness of, of such procedures um, is very good. That there is, I mean, the, uh, the, the proportion of patients having gone <coughs> through such a procedure, having no evidence of disease activity, what we call NIDA, is, is unparalleled by, by other trials, if by others, other, other ways of treating MS. So for sure, this is a very efficient way of, 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 of stopping the relapsing form of MS, whether it actually also prevents the, the, the progressive phase, which usually comes long after, we don't know yet. We know that if we, if we do the transplants when the patient is already in the progressive phase, then the progression carries on, so, so, so that, that we need to do it early. Um, so the, the remaining uh, issue which prevents this from being very, very widespread is, of course, the safety sites. And it, it looked really promising. So in some of the, of the regiments, some of the ways in which to do this, uh, there has been very few side effects and, and at least even, even uh, practically no, no mortality. Whereas in some of the other ways of doing it, there, there are still, still people dying from the procedure itself. Um, so we need to ensure, of course, if we were to, to launch this as a treatment for a big proportion of MS patients, that is really safe. And then the question ethically becomes, what kind of, of mortality can we accept? Uh, it needs to be way below a percent, of course. Um, so th that's still why there is hesitation, I would say. Uh, but the effic efficacy or effectiveness evidence, they look just fantastic.